Hello Matrix community. Today we are going to test MANAS, which stands for Matrix AI Network AI Service. So basically this is the platform where Matrix AI Network will provide all its AI services. And later on there will be an API obviously available for developers. So for example, if someone wants to build an app uh, that is able to identify plants, they will be able to use the plant identification AI service to build their application. In this video today, we are going to first test the bank card identification here, then the ID card recognition, the license plate recognition, then the plant identification, and finally the animal identification here. The first testing of Manas happened in July 2021, and this is the second testing of Manas with more AI services available as of October 2021. So let's first dive in the bank card identification AI service test. So here I arrive on this page and I just have to click on now use to test the service. So I will upload a picture of a bank card that is very straightforward, nothing else in the picture and see how it behaves. So I just click confirm and pay and here I have the result of handling showing the date has been identified and the number of the card, but not the bank name. Um, actually, this only works with Chinese uh, bank companies for the moment. So I will give it another try with another card. Again, pretty straightforward picture. I actually have to go back and re-upload the picture. I hit confirm and pay and I get the result here again. We can see it is matching the correct date of ending and the card number is correct as well. Let's now give it another try with a slightly more complex picture because there is not only the card in the picture but also some writings at the bottom that are a bit cropped and hands holding the card. And we can see here again the date is correctly identified and the card number as well which is great. So now let's move on to the ID card recognition. I will do three testings for each service. So here again, I click now use and I will upload the first picture for the ID card test. Again, I start with a very straightforward picture, only the front and back of the ID card and nothing else in the picture. Let's see how it handles. So it recovers a lot of information. Each information is here as the in the words section and we can see each word is identified, uh, the location of each word is identified in the picture. So let's just compare those information quickly with the card. So we can see those three symbols here are matching those three ones. Then this single symbol here is matching this one here. And then we have all this series of symbols and a few numbers here matching those symbols and numbers here. So it seems to work quite well. Now let's try with another picture. Then we can try a slightly more complicated picture with actually a hand holding the card. And there's also a slight angle with the card and some writing at the bottom, but it handles the information pretty well, so it seems. So we've got the first three symbols here matching those three ones, this single one matching this one, and this series here matching this series here. So that's pretty good. Let's move on to a third test, a bit more complicated again. So we can see this is again someone holding the, the ID card, but with more things in the background and less um, information just about the card. So let's try this picture and it seems to be quite okay and handling the information well. So we have those two symbols here matching those two ones, those three ones matching those three ones, this series here matching this series here. This is quite accurate. This is actually the date here, 1991-115, 1991-0115. So this is pretty good. 
Now let's move on to the license plate recognition. I click now use. And by the way, if I scroll down a little bit, it says that it can also recognize multiple plates at the same time. So we're going to start with a pretty straightforward and simple picture. To begin with here, there's still a car in the background, but the plate is very visible. There is no angle and it is appearing in big. So it seems like all informations are retrieved. We have the uh, ID of the plate, we have the color of the plate, and we also have some probabilities of these informations to be accurate or not. So this is a very high probability. And we can see here we have this symbol and BD011113, and this is matching this plate. So this is perfect. Let's try with another picture slightly more complicated this time. So I will use this one. So you can see there's much more information in the picture. We have a lot of different cars, but the license plate is pretty visible. So let's see how it handles this one. So we got a result. We got the color blue. This is correct. We've got the number here, which is correct as well. So this is great. Let's try a last example with this picture where we have tons of license plates. So let's give it a try with this. So we have only one result of license plate here. The color says it is yellow and we have this number here, which seems to match the last plate. Yes, the symbol and the B are actually on top here. So it is only giving back the last plate and not the other ones. But this is actually a um, retouched picture. This is not like a single natural picture. And as the AI gets trained, it will be able to handle more and more complex cases and probably handle this picture very well as well. So now let's move on to the next testing, which is the plant identification. So let's try this one. And I will start with this picture, which is called usually a snake plant. So we have actually three possibilities here with different score and the higher the score, the higher the probability it is to be accurate. So let's verify first this one. I have a Chinese translator here. So it is translating in tiger tail orchid. So I will paste that in Google and see what it gives me. It seems pretty alike, but mm, yeah, this one is pretty alike. So I think it is the same family of plant. Not sure if it is exactly the same uh, version of the plant. Not sure about that, but it is very similar at least. And we can see that the probability, the probability is only 69%. Let's move on with a second example of plant. This is very known to everyone. This is a hemp plant. I will confirm and pay. And here I get the results. I will again copy paste that. We can see we have a very high probability of accuracy here with 89%. I will translate the answer marijuana. This is correct. Hemp marijuana. This is correct. So let's move on with the third example, which will be this plant over here. Interestingly, this is in a pot. So Let's see how it handles that. Okay, so we have three results again, and this one is the highest probability with 82%. So I will just copy this result here. This is the name Diafen Bakia that is translated into English. And let's see what we have here. Yes, it seems like the same plant. We can compare with the picture over here, especially you see this one is actually exactly the same. So yeah. This is accurate. This is good. Now let's move on to the animal recognition AI service here. And let's try again with three new picture. So I will start again with a simple, very straightforward picture. Nothing else than this lion in the picture. And we have this as a result of handling. I will copy paste everything and see the different propositions with every time a different score for the probability of each proposition to be accurate. So the first one is very, very high, 99.5% and the other ones are very low. So let's translate it right away. And so we see here the very high probability is actually lion 
and the other ones are very, very low probability, buffalo, baboon, African elephant, but this has not to be taken into account given the very, very low probability. Let's give it another try with another picture right now. I will use this one. Again, this is pretty straightforward, but this is underwater. This is obviously a turtle. And so again, we have a very high probability here and some other very, very low probability with the other propositions. Let's translate it again. And so we have as a very high probability here, the sea turtle, which is correct. And then we have Lee turtle with only 1% probability, which is very low. And then the rest is just too low to be taken into account. Let's give it another try with a slightly more complicated picture this time with this picture, which is just a bit more complicated because there are multiple animals in the same picture. These are all the same animals, but it might be a bit trickier for the AI to identify it. So we got some results here. We can see the probability is lower than before and we will copy paste that to have the result of that. And this is actually correct, Mongoose. This is the name of this animal. And then the other probabilities are Mongoose again, Tail Mongoose, Mongolian Meerkat, African Mongoose and Sea Cat. So Mongoose is correct again. This is very good. So we can see a lot of new advancements and developments of the Menas platform with this new testing and a lot of new AI services that are already functional and working, even though the machine learning has to keep learning to improve and get the AI service even better and more accurate. Back in July, we only had one AI service available, which was the bank card identification. And now we already have five. And you can obviously see that other services are coming here and even more services than the one displayed here will also be developed in the future. So stay tuned for the next videos showcasing the big developments of Matrix AI Network. Take care, Matrix community.